Hello you guys. So here we are in the dining room and here is a quick overview of the room. So if we are starting from the front door here, um, on the side we have this little entrance table. So on top of here I have a log slice that I purchased from Home Goods, and then on top of that I have this really pretty cascading small maple leaf bouquet. And by small I just mean the leaves are a little bit smaller than like my other uh, garland or leaf bouquets and they are all stuffed inside of this white glass or ceramic vase that I purchased from Goodwill and then I have two little pumpkins sitting on top of that log as well. Um, both of these pumpkins I believe came from Walmart and then on the side of that I have a Bath and Body Works candle. I think that this is sweater weather and it is in this really pretty red sparkly maple leaf um, candle sleeve. And then on the side of that, I have a light. And this light I purchased from Home Goods. It is like that silver broken glass or mosaic type light. And then it matches with this mirror that we have. This mirror was also found at Home Goods. And then on the side here, we have our big window looking outside the front yard. We have these gray and white curtains that I purchased from Target. And then I have two little white stands that I purchased from at home. And I have plants on both sides of those. And then in the middle, I have this gray pleated um, ottoman. And I have a bunch of like dining stuff in there that we don't use too often, but I like to keep on hand. And then two pillows sit on top of that. I have this seasonal Hello Fall pillow from the Target dollar section. And then I also have this gray one that I purchased from Home Goods a while ago. This one is always out. Regardless of the season, I always have this one. And then I usually try to get a seasonal pillow as well for this little area right here. And then I don't know if I ever showed these um but they are these really pretty sun catchers and if you can kind of see there they have little faces on them so this is Aiden's these are older um this is our dog Denali our chihuahua you can kind of see like that um here is one of Matt and I and then there's one of our boxer holding them up like that you can really see the picture and then we have a lot more of Aiden so there's another one of Aiden And then another one of him when he was a little baby and then there is another one and um, yeah I am so obsessed with these things I keep them out year-round but um, I purchased them all from walmart.com and I don't think they sell them anymore but I really really wish that they would come back with them because not only are the like actual sun catcher part absolutely gorgeous they catch such pretty colors of the sun and they make really pretty imprints in the room um, during the afternoon hours when the sun is the brightest in here but of course I also love the little pictures that are imprinted onto them and then I just have them hanging or like they look like they're floating but they're hanging from little fish wire I am really hoping that Walmart somehow one day brings these back they were only eight dollars a piece and yeah so they are up year-round and I wanted to show them in this home tour since I don't think I have in any of my previous home tours so as you can see it's a pretty big window that we have in here eventually we would love to get a bay window on the side of that window we have this beautiful rustic wooden bookcase that Matt's aunt purchased for us she purchased this from target.com and so on top of here um, we have our two little Moscow Mule mugs and then we have a little wine caddy with a Cubs wine bottle in there and then another wine bottle on the side of there. We can never have enough wine in this house. And then we have this big um, picture of Matt and I. The photo frame I found from Goodwill and then the picture inside of there is one of our first set of engagement pictures. And then I have this little trio of vases and this I purchased from Target, their dollar section during the spring and summer months. And then I have a big like selection of 
leaves in there. But on this shelf, we have this lit up mason jar that I purchased from Kirkland's. I have these two little Swarovski crystals that Matt bought for our wedding day, a white pumpkin that was purchased from Target, a bunch of wine glasses, and most of these were purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, but some of them were also purchased from Target and Home Goods. And then we have our little coasters that have not been used or open yet, but they sit right there. And then on this shelf, we have our Swarovski Crystal Cake Topper. And then I have this little um, lantern or birdcage that I stuck a picture of Matt and I in. Um, a little Ola Cassini cupcake, another Ola Cassini product, which is a little sparkly um, cross tiny light from home goods and then a little pumpkin that I recently purchased that I just can't remember where I bought it from I want to say Joanne fabrics I just keep this marquee love sign that I purchased from Michaels it is battery operated that is what it looks like lit up so here is an overview of that bookcase I absolutely love this furniture piece so then on the side of that we have a faux little plant and then another window looking out on the side of our house and then here is the side of that window and right here we have our seasonal bird cage which you guys know I love decorating I can't wait to decorate this one for Christmas in a few days and then I have some sparkly branches they are just a mixture of stuff going on in there and then I have our S and K letters that we use at our wedding right down below this table that I purchased from at home and the birdcage like I've mentioned previously was found at home goods or TJ Maxx and here is what the insides look like so just a bunch of leaves some lights and then those little target birds that I buy seasonally on the side of here we have two of these sconces both of them were purchased from home goods um, a bunch of leaves that were purchased from Michaels and then this really pretty canvas that my cousin purchased for me for a housewarming gift I believe so right around here is where I film so I'm sure like this whole wall looks very familiar in a lot of my videos so right over here we have this really beautiful rustic picture frame that I purchased from at home and then I have this blessed sign. Um, this was purchased from Kirkland's. I get a lot of questions about this. This was purchased from Kirkland's. They still have it available on their website if you are interested. This is definitely one of my favorite wall arts in our entire house. But on top of that, I have this really pretty sunflower thick garland that I purchased this year from home, no, from Michaels, I'm sorry. Purchased this from Michaels. And on the side of that, I have another matching wooden picture frame. It matches with the one that's right over here. And this is just of Matt and I, as well as my family on our wedding day as well. And then we have all of this down here. So this like little, I don't even know what this would be called. This table or stand. Let me know if there's like an actual name for this type of furniture piece. But this was given to Matt by one of his customers um, as like a tip for one of the jobs that he did. And I painted this when we were living in our old house. Um, this was like my first furniture piece that I ever painted. So this used to be like a tan color, but we get a, quite a lot of use out of this. I have two log slices. Both of these came from Target. They were part of my bridal shower gifts, but I know that they were both purchased from Target. Um, and then on top of here, I have this beautiful broken glass base. And this was purchased from Pier One. I love all of the colors that are in here. I did stick a set of white string lights in there. Um, so it really illuminates the entire thing and makes it really, really colorful and pretty. And so then I have this really pretty gold picture frame that was purchased from Kirkland's and then a tiny iridescent picture frame that I found at Charming Charlie's, a sparkly leaf under that, and then a brown pumpkin that I purchased recently from Michael's. And then in the middle of this furniture piece, we have this lit up bird house. I don't know what you want to call this is either. Um, but this was purchased from at home and it's kind of just like a glass birdhouse kind of thing. 
um, and I seasonally decorate this as well. So right now there are a bunch of leaves, some glistening, twinkling white string lights, and then a little owl. He is in there year round. I usually just change out like what's surrounding that owl. So right now there's leaves, and then in a couple days there will be lots of pine cones and pine tree type of stuff, but yes, this gets seasonally changed out. And then I have this little DIY farmhouse decor that I did on my channel using cotton stems. I love how this looks, um, especially from afar, like going really close to it, you can definitely see a lot of the defects and you can just tell that it's DIY. But from afar, I think it looks super cute, especially in this little location. And then right in front of there, I have this really sparkly pumpkin that Aiden found me on my birthday while we were at the pumpkin patch. And then again, I have this log slice from Target, a Mr. and Mrs. Established 2016 sign that one of my bridesmaids got us. And then a light that kind of matches this vase. It's got the same broken glass iridescent color. Um, and so yeah, I just have a lot of broken glass type of stuff in here, but I absolutely love how shiny and pretty they are. But then underneath here, we have some wooden crates. And in here we have one cake stand that was purchased from Home Goods. And here I have all of my blender and smoothie stuff. And then we have that blue plate that I purchased from Home Goods behind that. And then in this one we have another cake stand that was given to us from um, our bridal shower. This was purchased from Target. And then on the side of this furniture piece we have this little welcome little, I don't know, wooden thing. Um, this was purchased from Kirkland's. I wrote welcome on the little chalkboard here. And then we have some fall floral arrangements, some candles that, was, that were purchased from Target. And then two little scarecrows, a little guy and a little girl scarecrow. These were both purchased from Michael's this year. And then right on the side of this welcome arrangement here, we have this big white pumpkin that was purchased from Target. I love white pumpkins. All right, and then here is our dining room table. The dining room table and the chairs were all purchased from Value City. They did not come as a set, but I liked how the rustic wood and the like off-white looked together. And then in the center of this here, we have this white or off-white um, table runner that was purchased from Amazon. And I really love this table runner. Um, it was pretty inexpensive and so I purchased a couple of them just in case this one ever gets ruined. I just love how the lace looks on the wood here. So on top of that table runner, we have this fall candle floral arrangement that was found and purchased at Kirkland's. And then I have this little salt and pepper shaker that my uncle got for us for our housewarming. And then we have this gorgeous, gorgeous um, chandelier that I talk about constantly in my home tours for this room. I am obsessed with this. I think that for the price, it just is so beautiful. This was found at overstock.com. I did add quite a bit of crystals to give it more of like a dramatic effect and give it some like length. And then we have some sheer curtains that are always like tied up that lead into the kitchen, living room, family room area, and some mirrors and wall art going upstairs. And then on this wall here, we have this coat rack cubby area. It holds so many coats. But on top of here, I have this little wooden blessed basket. Um, this was purchased from Michaels and then I have a bunch of like chrome metallic leaves in there and, and that floral arrangement, all that stuff was found at Michaels as well. I have this really pretty gold glittery pumpkin that Aiden found on my birthday as well from the pumpkin patch. An iridescent vase or I don't know, glass something or another um, back there that was purchased from Goodwill. And then we have some photo frames a really pretty rhinestone bowl or statement piece. Um, this was purchased from Home Goods. Some white flowers with some clear rhinestones in there. Those were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And then we have this really pretty iridescent vase that I found at Ross, I believe. 
below that we have another um, ottoman. I don't bench. It, I don't know. You can sit on it, obviously, and then we have all of our winter stuff in there, ready to go for this cold winter season that will be here very shortly. And then we have all of our shoes down there. So as much as I wish that all of this wasn't a part of the actual dining room, like we had an actual entrance area that was kind of a little bit more separated from the dining room, this area is very useful for us because it holds so much. Um, and I still have not painted this yet. I am still planning on doing that very soon. Now that the weather is colder, I can open the windows and flush out the paint fumes and smells and all of that. So I am definitely planning on getting rid of this brown color very, very soon. But on the side here, we have this um, chalkboard and the chalkboard I recently purchased from Hobby Lobby and you can see our bucket list that I did do a video for but I am going to also be needing to do our winter or our Christmas bucket list very very soon probably next week I will get started on that above that we have this love conquers all shadow box type wall art this was purchased from Kirkland's and I love 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 this one as well as the blessed one they Kirkland's has so many beautiful shadow box wall art type pieces here is our front door and we have this really pretty autumn wreath that I believe I purchased from either Walgreens or Walmart a couple years ago and then here is our front door um, going outside I have this really pretty boxwood wreath that I purchased from Target. Um, I wasn't planning on keeping this out as long, but I just love how vibrant and green this is, especially against the white door. And so when we have the door open, which we do pretty often, and then there is a little overview of our front yard or our front porch. So that about does it for this dining room fall autumn home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. For the next several days in a row, I will be having the fall autumn home tour videos on my channel. I will be doing the family room, kitchen, and living room. And then as soon as those videos are posted on my channel, I will be uploading all of my decorate with me videos for the Christmas season, which I am really, really excited to share with you. So please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and become part of my YouTube family. I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.